Hello, this is SJ Talks and Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Please and thank you. It is April 4th, 2023. Um, I heard, um, if you didn't get a chance to see, look at my video where I'm talking about uh, Miss Pearly Sayings, um, I was posing the question, was she jumping on the black men and black women bashing um, train in order to earn profits here on YouTube. I was posing that question in that video. It's a fairly short video. It's not that long. And um, a YouTuber by the name of Faith, the Faith Factor and uh, Cynthia G and some other female YouTubers on here have uh, have said that Miss Pearly Things is trying to... Um, cater to the black manosphere she's trying to cater to the black manosphere and it's the black manosphere um is trying to use her allegedly trying to use her to um bash black women using her as a weapon against black women i just watched a video um just like i said youtuber by the name of faith factor um, she did a video, um, a live talking about it and, um, um, and, uh, they're, they're saying that it's not working. Um, but I, I think that's really, really taken, um, the black female bashing thing to a whole nother level. It's really taking it to a whole nother level when you're trying to enlist, uh, white females to jump on the black woman bashing train and bash black women that is i mean it's really taking it to a whole nother level and it really shows uh uh the hatred that some of these black men have for black women on here um it really shows displays the hatred and um that is not okay in any sense of the word it's not okay you know that would be just like if we got a white man to on board to uh if we enlisted a white man to star bashing black men here on youtube how would they feel if we did that how would they feel if we enlisted a white man to come on here and just start bashing black men here on youtube how would they feel about that they wouldn't like it they wouldn't like it and they would be very vocal about it so that is not okay that is not okay i don't know um i don't <laughs> It's unbelievable. It really is. It's the hatred that we have amongst each other in our own race. It's, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. And, you know, um, but they were saying that, that she's really, this really, she's not really succeeding. Um, it seems like I looked at her content. It seems like she's kind of bagging, bagging off of black women a little bit, but, um, and she has other topics on there talking about um, modern women and things like that of that nature. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, don't come, don't let the black men use you to bash black women. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because, you know, it, I, I just think that's just taking it to a whole nother level. And that is not okay. It's not okay for them to do that. Um, yeah, it's really a lot of hatred, you know, that some of these black men have for black men, women is, you know, they really, really have a lot of hatred in their heart. It's just, it's unreal. It's unreal the amount of hatred. Um, if you didn't get a chance to check out my video where I'm, I'm talking about the protection, black people bashing, uh, each other and the protection of black women go ahead and get over there to check that out i'm gonna put that link in this video um yeah i, I guess a very important message in that video so go ahead and check that video out um but yeah it's we gotta stop this we gotta stop this stuff like i said and i made this point in that other video they're waging war against us they're waging war against us they don't want to teach our history in the schools they're trying to um, bring back Jim Crow laws. They're trying to bring back lynching. Come on, white black people, wake up. 
We don't have time for this. We don't have time for all this bashing and hatred towards each other. We don't have time for it. We literally do not have time for it. This needs to stop. We need to stop this and, and um, find another way to make money on here. Just, just find another way to make money. Why don't you make money empowering your people? If, if, if you feel like black women need to be better, why don't you get on here and, 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 and talk about, you know, um, do positive videos in, 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 in reference in terms of helping what women, what black women can do to be better. Why don't you do that instead of this coming on here doing all the bashing? You know, there's lots of there's lots of content that you can cover in terms of black women being better. Vice versa. There's lots of content that can be covered is in terms of black men being better. That's what our young people need to hear. OK, something constructive, constructed construction, some some construction. That's what is needed. I don't have a problem with that because we do have um, some black male YouTubers on here that get that that talks about what women can do to be better. You know, so they're 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 on here. So why don't you just do content like that? Why does it? Well, why does it have to be all this hatred and all this bashing? And, and, and you, whatever bitterness that you got going on in your heart, you need to fix it. You need to see God and you need to fix that. Because ultimately, bitterness is going to eat at you. It's going to eat at you. It's going to break your, your body down. Bitter, bitterness, having bitterness in your heart doesn't benefit any of us. It doesn't benefit any of us to have to harbor bitterness i pray that i pray and i ask god to help me in that area you know if if people have hurt me i pray and i ask god to help me to forgive to help me to not harbor any bitterness towards them and sometimes you do that you have to do that sometimes you have to pray and ask god to help you you know, because we can't do nothing on our own. And that's calling out to him. And that's what he wants us to do. And I, I'll, I'll pray and I'll ask God to please help me to not have bitterness in my heart towards anyone that I feel that have, has hurt me. And, it, and, and, and it's, it's because you've been hurt by individual black women that you have dealt with. It could have been your own mother. But you got to get help. You got to get help with that. All black women did not hurt you. It was the ones that you were dealing with. And if your mother hurt you, I'm sorry that your mother hurt you. That was very unfortunate that your mother hurt you. But you need to heal from that. Blacks, a lot of black men and women that need healing. There, like these some childhood traumas. I get it. Traumas as far as dealing with relationships, I get it. Okay, I've had some of those traumas. Okay. But we got to get past it and we got to heal from that. We got to take the, the steps to heal and, and God can help us with that, but we have to let him in. Everything starts with us. We have to let God in and we have to let him help us with these things. We have to call on God and let him help us with these things. And you got to be willing to open up your heart and allow him to come in because he ain't going to force his way. God don't force himself on nobody. He's not going to do that. You have to open up your heart and you have to let him in. You have to let Jesus in to help you and ask him to please get rid of the bitterness in my heart. I do have bitterness towards black women. I do have bitterness towards black men. I'm not saying I do, but some, a lot of black women do. And there was a time when I did because I was hurting from 
um, relationships or whatever, or even my father. My father was not there for me um, growing up. And I, and I did harbor bitterness, bitterness for a long time. But I asked God to help me. I prayed and I asked God to help me with that. Because sometimes it is apparent. It is apparent. And then I had bitterness regarding um, the, uh, um, the men. The men that I dealt with. But at the same time, I had to take responsibility. I had to take responsibility for my choices. But a lot of the choices I made um, was a lot of it had to do with the fact that I didn't have a father growing up. You know, and so I had to um, find out, understand what my pattern was and why I was making the choices that I made. You know, this is the reason why we we make we make those choices, you know, as women. And so I had to take responsibility for that and recognize the pattern and 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 then learn to change those those patterns. Cuz I had a tendency of getting hooked up and getting emotionally involved and with with men that was unavailable to me either emotionally or physically. That was my pattern, and, and I think it, it stemmed back to me not having a father. My father wasn't available to me. So that made sense to me when I really... That's why it's good to be single. I'm telling you, ladies, that's another topic, but I'm, it's good to be single for a time. All this time I've been single, I've been able to figure some things out, you know? And... Ask God to show you. He will show you, you know. And I think that was a lot of the reason why I was making bad decisions and, you know, getting involved with men that just just was not into me. Like that term to say he's just not into you was just not into me emotionally, you know. And, and men sometimes have that pattern, too, of they... Uh, maybe their mother wasn't emotionally available for them or whatever the issues that they had growing up with their mom. And then in turn causes them to make certain choices regarding women. Some women, men make um, choices, the choices based on superficial reasons that they're more uh, interested in how the woman looks and they don't take the time to get to know who she is on the inside. And in turn, you know, she, she, she hurts them. And then he's going around spewing how hatred towards all women, you know, all black women. And if it's a mother that that hurt them, their mother was might maybe been abusive to them or use abusive speech towards them on a consistent basis or physically abused them or abandoned them. Then they they take it out on all black women. All black women didn't do that to you. You got to heal from that. You got to, you got to take steps to heal from that because that bitterness will destroy you. It's going to destroy you in the long run. Okay, ultimately, it's going to destroy you. So you got to heal from that. Plain and simple. Black and the same goes for black women. A lot of I've done a lot of healing over the years, and it's still a process. I ain't gonna lie to you. But that's when seeking God um, comes in. You got to, I pray and, and ask God. Because I know I, I got faults. We all messed up. I, I got faults just like everybody else. I messed up just like everybody else. It goes, it goes a lot deeper than just being imperfect. We messed up. We jacked up. You know, a, a, a sister used to say that all the time. We, it goes deeper than being imperfect. We, we, we messed up. We jacked up. It goes a whole lot deeper than just being imperfect. We messed up. We jacked up. All of us. We all jacked up. We got issues. We all got some kind of issues. So we got to pray and ask God to... It, 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 going to Christian is, it, being a Christian is more than just going to church and reading your Bible. You know? It, it, you got to seek God in a lot of stuff. And that's what we got to ask God to help us to be better because there's certain things that you can't have going on in you it's certain things that you can't have going on in you if you're gonna be a follower of christ 
There's certain things that you just can't have going on in you. So you ask you 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 have to ask God to um, let it, even if you don't. It's like some people are say I'm not a Christian or whatever. Okay, well you do it for you, because bitterness is ultimately is ultimately going to eat at you. It's ultimately going to eat you up, unless you don't care about unless you don't care unless you just don't care about nothing. You don't care about yourself. You don't care about nobody. I guess there's people walking around like that. What 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 kind how what kind of life is that? You walking around not caring about yourself and nobody else. How what kind of life is that? Okay. I guess if you don't care nothing about yourself, but if you if you do care something about yourself, do it for you. Do it for you. The bitterness is gonna eat it's gonna it's gonna eat at your spirit. And and mess with your mess with your uh break down your body. It's true. It's gonna it's gonna destroy you. Ultimately, gonna destroy you. And, and these and these men cannot be in a good place. They can't. This video wasn't supposed to be this long, by the way. These, these men cannot be in a good place. Coming on YouTube consistently bashing. They cannot. It's, it's it, it. Okay, we done we done seen what done happened to some of them. I'm not I'm not trying to be like that, but we done seen what done happened to some of them. I'm not gonna name no names, but. We didn't see what didn't happen to some of them oh, that on here. We done, you know, we done already done seen that. Not naming any names, but we didn't already done seen that. Okay, so it's been proven you you can't be in a good place if you coming on here consistently bashing. You can't be in a good place. You can't be in a good place mentally. It, you can't be. You can't be in a good place. Yeah, you making money, but they ain't happy. They not in a good place. They not in a healthy place. Because they're harboring all this bitterness. They're spewing it out on the internet day in and day out. You can't be in a happy place. You can't be in a good place. You can't be in a peaceful place. And you're certainly not in a godly place. That that bitterness is it it, it 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 has ate at some of these guys on here. It it ate them up and it broke them down. Okay, we've seen that on here with with a few of them. So it, it's it's bitterness in your heart is going to destroy you. It's going to destroy you. Unforgiveness is bitterness. It's like drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die. That's what they say. When we when we harbor when we harbor bitterness and, and unforgiveness, it's like drinking in poison and expecting that other person to die. It don't make no sense. It's gonna destroy you. Ultimately gonna destroy you in the long run. So we have to, and I say we, I'm talking about me too. We have to get rid of it. We got to get rid of it. We have to. And, 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 and we, we, got, we have to ask God and seek God to help us to get rid of it. Okay? Because it's not going to do you no good. It ain't going to do you no good in the long run. Okay, hit me up in that comment section. Let me know. This video wasn't really supposed to be that long. But, you know, I, 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 when I come on here, I speak from the heart. I, 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 I don't even be knowing sometimes ahead of time. I was just going just, to just do a quick video saying that Miss Pearly things is, is uh, the black manosphere is trying to push her, push her narrative, use her to push her narrative to bash black women. And that's pretty much all I was going to say. I, I didn't even plan on saying the rest of the stuff. <laughs> So I speak, you know, I you know, I come from the heart on here a lot of times, guys. So go ahead and hit my comment section. Uh uh hit that like, subscribe, and share. And until the next video, you guys be blessed.